Hey Nyasties, it's been a while, and by while, I mean like four months or something, I don't know, I haven't dragged. Um, I don't want to make animation memes anymore, just cause, uh, I don't want to sound selfish or anything, but for almost two years, I've been making weekly uploads of animation memes, and honest to god, it felt more like a job than something that I actually enjoyed and wanted to do and I just kept on doing it for the sake of doing it and not for the sake of enjoyment and also nobody watched them like <laughs> I think the problem was is that the whole like animation meme thing um it just got oversaturated and then gotcha life kind of like made it super easy to make animation memes and then everyone started making them and with the whole like AI thing and like animation memes started becoming mainstream, these content farms started seeing the amount of views that these videos got. So they made really crappy rigs of popular pop culture characters. And then they just made them dance to like, I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands. Like Jesus said, and, <laughs> like, um, Garten of Ban Ban, Nab Nab, was dancing, dancing, dancing with his hands, hands, hands on his head or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> um, and because of that, the more higher production content farm stuff started to get more normalized, and, like, the mid-range creators but like you know obviously never like went to professional school doesn't have like a whole team of people doesn't have a professional setup they got kind of casted to the wayside because well they weren't creating out outstanding works as compared to content farms so you know just gradually faded and my interest in animation has never gone away i and I'm still very passionate about that, but it's just, I don't have the time to do that. I What I want to do right now is way too big for a single person to do because, you know, I have all these story ideas and they need storyboards, they need music, they need voice actors, they need character model sheets, they need like hundreds of frames of animation and background art and stuff that I cannot do. I... Can draw furries pretty good and i can come up with stories but that's kind of it you know i i can't like voice act multiple characters i have a limited vocal range i can't voice a ton of people and additionally since it's only me working on the project i can't tell if there's any loopholes or if there's any issues with the stories so it might fall flat like hard high guardian spice oh my god not high guardian spice <laughs> anyways so I kind of, after my um, last upload of that project, I kind of took a pause on doing animations. The only animations I do are now like paid YCHs because I get paid for that. I don't know, I've just been doing stuff. And I've always really liked home decorate or like interior design for some reason. I don't know why. I, maybe it's, you know, watching, what's it, IHGTV? Um, house flippers or whatever show there is um, family wanting to buy a house in the suburbs getting a really generic style and then them choosing the worst house and be like oh but I like the lighting in this one room even though the other room has like a much more um, acreage and also has better lighting overall but but the living room has stunning windows like bro you could just change them out like Okay, whatever. Anyways, so I guess like watching those shows kind of like made me like it and like interior designing. So whenever there's a game that I can like design spaces like Minecraft, designing homes, house flipper, um, designing homes, I guess, again, I guess, and The Sims 4, designing homes. Uh, I'm kidding. This one's actually a bar. It's an Art Deco inspired bar. If you can't tell, but it's Art Deco. I don't know. <laughs> if you can't. And I don't know, I've always had an interest in that kind of things. Um, and wow, I've talked more about myself than the actual build. I mean, it's an Art Deco styled build. What I really struggled with is the wallpaper and the flooring. And so 
at the very first I wanted to get some wallpaper and flooring but then like I started realizing you know I need furniture in here to really contextualize what kind of walls and floors this building should have so then I um, decorated it and then when it came to wallpaper and flooring I realized like oh some of these don't really match and I really don't like it so it, it was a little bit of a, a struggle and also the the reference images that I have were not the best I mean they were they were decent but they weren't really like going for this like two floor bar style in the sims 4 obviously because these were built in the 1920s they did not have sims 4 in the 1920s who could have guessed so I kind of had to like you know be creative you know wonder like if this space did happen or not did happen wait i don't think they had jukeboxes in the 1920s why did i add that um okay whatever i'm not gonna question that i'll just say like it's renovated or whatever because there's no tvs in it so it, like i guess it's feasible i'm pretty sure most bars have tvs now because like i mean what else are you gonna do while you're day drinking complain to the bartender what did the bartenders not do like taking care of their kid or something i don't know i've been watching way too much shameless if you can't tell no you can't tell bruh i don't know oh my god the the ceiling update is a lifesaver although the cornered um walls update kind of messed that up a little bit because the cornered walls are so finicky and glitchy you know god bless ea god bless maxis i love maxis i love the 1000 million gajillion dlcs but there is anyways <laughs> so it was a, a little bit of a, a struggle um one thing um what i wanted to say oh there is tvs what the hell i will say art deco is not a style that i have ever done before the closest I've done is Bohemian, and I hate Bohemian or Maximalist or whatever you want to call it. It's ugly. I don't like it. There's too many colors. It hurts my eyes. It hurts my brain. I want everything to be in grayscale or pure red, because I love the color red, and I'm such with the color red. Um, oh yeah, this roofing part, I think, I, I think this is so cool. It's like glass roof. I don't know how realistic that is to Art Deco, but I think it looks really nice. And... <laughs> anyways so you know i had a lot of reference images and what's really interesting is like not only was this like an architectural movement but this was also like an art movement and the posters that were designed for art deco was like really interesting and you know maybe in the future i'll create some works inspired off of that that would be interesting that would be cool i would like that and <laughs> oh yeah the the private lounge area i don't know how that will work gameplay wise because i know the sims and the sims 4 are like significantly dumber than any other sim in any other game so i think that what the sims might do is that they'll just like huddle in there and then watch tv and like eat chips from the bar or something and like not actually like socialize or like use the seat because this is way too much seating for the sims 4 i whenever i build things in the sims 4 i think of it more like realistically how would it be utilized more than um, practically in the game? Oh yeah, this this part, the decorations part, I struggled. I struggled real hard because I don't. It I I feel like it's such an awkward space because there's already a bunch of seating indoors, so I don't want to put seating outdoors. So I, I was just like finicking around. And little, whatever you see. Anyways, here are the stills.